Whoa, whoa, Trigger. Oh, boy. Well, howdy, boys and girls. This is Roy Rogers. And Trigger, of course, looking for two members of my Roy Rogers Writers Club, Buddy and Jane. Here I am, Roy. And I'm here, too. Oh, good. No time to lose now. Get up on your ponies. Shall I help you, Jane? No, I can get on alone. Then let's get riding. Can't be late for my World Championship Rodeo. <laughs> Now, can't go to your world championship rodeo, Roy. Oh, I've taken care of them, buddy. All you boys and girls listening to us talk right now, follow the rodeo in your storybooks. And just to help you along, every time I fire my six-shooter like this, that's a special signal to turn the page. Understand? Let's try it. Turn the page now and follow us through the rodeo. now through the main entrance and go up to your box seats. Hey, just in time for the first event. Contest number one, bareback bronc riding. First prize, $6,700. That's a heap of money. That's a tough contest, buddy. Each cowboy has to ride a wild horse bareback holding on with only one hand. Do the cowboys take their own horses, Roy? Oh, no. They put the horses' names in a hat and draw. Cowboys never know which one they're going to get. Uh-oh. Here comes the first horse and rider out of the chute, into the arena. Look at him! Go! Yeah. They let us buck! You little <laughs> How long is he supposed to hold on? Until the judge's whistle blows. Golly! He's heading this way, holding on for dear life! Listen to that boy talk to him. Take it easy there. Kick all you want. You're not gonna broke me. Hey, there's the judge's whistle. He made it. Sure was a tough hombre. Listen, Buddy and Jane, another announcement. Folks, we're having a rodeo today to raise money for the orphans of this town. Hey, who's that man with the microphone, Mark? Harrison Murdoch leading citizen of this town. The man we have to thank for the rodeo and for donating all the cash receipts is Roy Rogers, king of the cowboys. Sorry, I didn't know that, Roy. Hey, Roy, you're not listening. No, Jane. I just saw Alkali Joe in the crowd. Wonder when he got out of jail. And now a few words from Roy Rogers. Uh -oh. Huh? Oh, 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 folks, nothing I want to say except let's keep in a right happy frame of mind with a song. Old Dan Tucker's a fine old man. He washed his face in the frying pan, combed his hair with a wagon wheel, died with a toothache in his heel. Get out the way, old Dan Tucker. Get out the way, old Dan Tucker. Get out the way, old Dan Tucker. You're too late to get your supper. Roy. Same as bareback drunk riding, buddy. Only the cowboy gets on a genuine Bramble bull. And he rides without a saddle and only one hand? Exactly, Jane. Mr. Rogers. Yeah? Mr. Rogers, the doc disqualified me from this event. I know, Pee Wee. The doc said you're still sick and you should be in bed. Well, gosh, I want to ride real bad. Well, not this time, Pee Wee. Oh, gee. I... That's Pee Wee Carson, kids. Nice boy. But he shouldn't ride unless he's in tip-top shape. Contest number two about to start. Here we go. <laughs> Boy, for sure. Hey, wait a minute. Isn't that Pee Wee Carson? The rascal must have sneaked past the judge and gotten on that bull. He's too weak to ride. Ride the bull through and he'll be killed! Oh, bury me not on the lone prairie where the coyotes hide He's pretty badly hurt, buddy. But they'll fix him up at the hospital. Then we'll go around and cheer him up later. Billy, what's happening now? Oh, wow, 
off stairs losing the ring, Jane. Look at him run. If that stair breaks down any one of those guardrails, people will get hurt. Yeah, come on, Trigger. What are you going to do, Roy? A little stair wrestling, buddy. Let's go, Trigger. After him. Boy, look at Roy riding up to that stair. Now he's going to jump. Let's time it right, Trigger. He's got the stair around the neck. Slow down, you crazy steer. He's pushing the stair by the horn. You don't like it, do you? But you're going over now. Golly, Roy sure wrestled that steer flat on his back. Then we're safe, we're all safe. <laughs> Roy, rodeos are a lot of fun. That's how I feel, too. Glad you're pleased, kids. And I hope the boys and girls at home following my rodeo in the storybook are having as much fun. Roy, how did rodeo start? Well, buddy, it starts way, way back in the 1800s. In those days, every time a cowboy from one outfit met a cowboy from another, he'd claim his own outfit was the best. Best riders, best ropers, best everything. He must have started a heap of arguments. Exactly. And to settle the argument, Cowboys from the two different outfits would meet and hold a contest. Gradually, these contests became bigger and bigger. Then one day in the 1800s, down Texas Way, somebody offered cash prizes to the winners. Just like they do today. Right. First only cowboys watched. Then outside folk were invited and the contestants had a real audience. And from that time on, the rodeo was born. <laughs> Number four, calf roping. Calf roping? I'll bet I can win that event, Jane. Don't be so sure. Well, after all, being a member of Roy Rogers Riders Club, I can ride and rope. It takes a special kind of roping, buddy, and a specially trained horse. First, you throw your lariat around the calf's neck and jerk the slack and step off of your horse. One end of your rope is tied to the saddle horn. The minute you dismount, the horse backs away from the calf, keeping the rope tight. What good does that do? The cowboy has to tie three of the four legs of the calf together, and that tight rope sort of stretches the calf out so it makes it easier to do. Uh-oh, there goes the first contestant. Speed is what's required here, and that boy's traveling fast. He's roped the calf. He's dismounting. His horse backs away. He's got the calf down. He's got that pig and string on the front leg. He pulls those back legs up. One rep, two rep, three reps. He's got him. Now let's get the time from the announcer. Buster Brady's time, 14 seconds. Yeah. Hey, buddy. Looks like Brady is going to win the title of all-around champion cowboy here today. Boy, look. Over there. That man you were talking about before. Oh, yes. Alkali Joe. I still wonder when he got loose from Jay. And now an exhibition by the king of the cowboys, Roy Rogers, and the smartest horse in the movies, Trigger. <laughs> Folks, Trigger and I aim to do our special high jump trick today through a flaming hoof. Raise it a little higher, boys. Higher enough, Roy? No, higher than that. Higher still. Still a little higher. Golly, I've never seen a man jump through a flaming hoop that high. Come on, Trigger. Let's go. Buddy, I'm afraid you'll love me, too. Hooray! He made it! One moment, folks. One moment. Just learned the box office is being held up right now. What? Everybody stay in your seat. Go on with the rodeo. Trigger to the box office. Pronto. Mr. Cashier, this shoot nine says you turn over the cash box. Uh, please, Alkali, this money is for the orphan. Turn it over, I say. Turn it over, who says? Roy Rogers, just in time. Drop the gun, Alkali. So you finally got out of jail, eh? Now, who put you up to this? Don't have to talk if I don't want to. Come on, who's the higher up? Who are you working for? I'm here, if you must know. Now drop your gun, Rogers. You better, Roy. He's got a beat on you. Harrison Murdoch. I thought you were a leading citizen of this town. That's what a lot of people think. Alkali, 
Get in that cashier's cage and scoop up the money. Yeah, <laughs> right, boy. As for you, Rogers, I know exactly what I'll do to you. <laughs> Oh, look! Trigger's come back! And without Roy! Trigger wants us to follow him! Let's go! We'd better be careful, buddy! It may be dangerous! <laughs> You mean what's gonna happen? Ow. The rope threw you off balance, Murdoch, just long enough. Cashier, here's a gun. Can you hold Murdoch and Alkali until after the show? I sure can, Roy. Well, fine. Come on, Buddy and Jane. Let's go back to the rodeo. Oh, Buddy. Yes, Roy? Let me shake the hand of the best roper this side of the Rio Grande. <laughs> Just missed the contest number five, saddle bronc riding. I don't mind if I miss something, Roy. Golly, I've seen bareback riding and Brahma bull riding and Roy wrestling that steer and calf roping and the capture of Murdoch and Alkali. Nope, don't mind if we miss something, Roy. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of the Roy Rogers World Championship Rodeo and the all-round champion cowboy, Buster Brady. Yeah. It's mighty nice to have the title, folks, but I just learned that Roy Rogers saved the gate receipts for that orphan's home, so I'm donating my cash winnings to the orphans, too. And I'm giving my trophies, a saddle and a silver belt buckle, to the king of the cowboys himself, Roy Rogers. Yeah. Well, many thanks, Buster. I think I'll turn the saddle over to Buddy Gee. and the buckle to Jane Golly. <laughs> so they can remember this rodeo. And now, folks, to end things off with a song in everybody's heart, let's all get together and sing. Don't forget, smiles are made out of the sunshine and the frown from a rainy day. Until we meet again on the screen, radio, or in person, this is Roy Rogers. Buddy. Jane. And Trigger saying goodbye, good luck, and may the good Lord take a liking to you.